Uh, I'm Beyonce, and this is Justin Timberlake. Oh, no, I was going to say I was Jay-Z. Oh, you, you look more like Jay-Z. Yeah, I feel like I look way more like Jay-Z than JT. <laughs> I'm Tim. Just in case you didn't know that was a joke, I'm Tim. This is, this I'm is Emily. Emily. Uh, and we're going to eat some food today and tell you how rad it is or gross it is. We don't know. I don't think yeah. anything's going to be gross, but some things we just might not like. Yeah, we're super excited. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. All right, this is a Trader Joe's, by the way, uh, taste test. And some of it is gluten-free, some of it is not. I honestly don't know what's not gluten-free on the table because we're not doing that one product. All of this is gluten-free. I digress. About those. <laughs> I mean, we Ugh. can do those too. Hey, we can do whatever we ah, want. Do you want to do those? Yeah. Okay. Everything's gluten free except for this one item. <laughs> so there we go. So, uh, would you like to present uh, what we're going to be doing and the foods? Yes. So, we have organic oats and flax instant oatmeal. So, mm -hmm. this lady um, who actually worked at Trader Joe's, we were in the, this aisle and mm -hmm. she said that this was really, really good. So, I bought this. A few weeks ago, this oat beverage maple non-dairy product, and it is so good. We tried it in our coffee, didn't really care for it, but then when we just drank it by itself, it was yeah. phenomenal. It was pretty ridiculous. And I was like, oh, I wonder if it'd be really good in oatmeal. So we are going to try these two combinations mm -hmm. together. Uh, we have gluten-free pumpkin bread. I'm super excited about this one. Yep. Um, Probably most excited about that for me. Mm-hmm. Crispy peanut butter filled milk chocolate peanuts. So I've had these before. Tim has not. I'm super excited. I'm, yeah, this, mm. is, this is dangerous. I'll just say that. Um, and then we got dark chocolate covered marshmallows. I love marshmallows. I'm yeah. super excited about these ones. And then <coughs> we got sour cream onion corn puffs. Um, I love their pyro booty, so I'm I'm pretty stoked about this one yeah. too. This was like a last second. I saw it and just grabbed it. Um, I was also starving at the grocery store, which is never a good yeah. combination. It, I think that's why we have a lot of random shit. So, quick note for um, for the gluten free peeps out there, or anyway with celiacs. So, some of this stuff is not marked gluten free, and that's because it is in a facility a facility <laughs> that. Um, it also processes other stuff, so it's the parts per billion. Mm -hmm. So if you pick this up at the store and you're like, oh, this doesn't say gluten-free, just check the back. Realize that there's no ingredients, and then you know you have to make a decision for yourself. But I'm comfortable with all this stuff. Anything that's not marked gluten-free, as I said, is just in a facility. Mm -hmm. uh, so where there could be cross-contamination, and I can, I can handle that. Um, the other thing we have are cinnamon roll, pumpkin cinnamon rolls. Um, they come in a canister, kind of like the Pillsbury ones. I grabbed those. We're going to bake those really quick. Um, an another item that I ended up cooking last night, or I guess baking last night, was I found this frozen pie crust that is gluten-free. Um, and so I got an apple pie, like, a recipe, I guess. I'm not a, I'm not a baker at all. So I just basically de-thawed both pieces because you get a two bottom like pie container Crust. crusts. Yep. Yeah. And so what I did is I did my cinnamon, my sugar, cut up my apples, and I did about half of what they said. And then I took, I don't know if you guys saw our last, our very first Trader Joe's review or second one, where I had apple, like, what is it called? It was like an apple spread, like a maple yeah, apple spread. It was, it was really, really good. It was basically like a chutney almost, yep. but it was apple. And I mixed that in with the apples that I had made. And then I baked it and I put the crust on there. I did, I did it and it was actually really really good yeah it was, I was ridiculous super excited about it because i'm again not a baker so the crust was phenomenal it was really super fluffy. fluffy yeah really light um and it I was gluten free it was mm -hmm. awesome and then just mixing that like apple chutney it sounds kind of weird in with the apples was freaking awesome it was super simple mm -hmm. um uh, dare I offer, if anybody asks, can they have the recipe that you used? It was pretty simple. Sure, it was so, really simple. Well, we'll just leave it so if they want it in the, in the comments, put it in the comments. If you want if you want what, what Emily did for that recipe, we'll, we'll, we'll give it to you in the comments. Yep. Just, just for ease. It was awesome, though. It was really, really good. Okay, um, we're going we're gonna to go ahead and cut two, and we're going to go and make some uh, oatmeal, and we'll be right back. Cheers. We're back. Okay, so the cinnamon pumpkin rolls are in the oven. I'm super excited. It comes with a glaze. It smells amazing, and Tim's super low-key jealous about um, the whole no, thing. No, I get jealous. It smells so good. Um, so we made our oatmeal with the oat milk um, and followed the directions. We just substituted water for the milk. 
We're letting this milk cool, for the water. Or yeah, milk for the water. All good. Um, we're letting it cool off just a little bit before we're going to eat it because it's really really it's hot. It's steaming. Um, so we are going to continue on until this is ready to eat. Mm -hmm. um, which would you like to try first? That pumpkin, that pumpkin bread. I was going to say chimichurri. Chimichurri? <laughs> yeah. Oh my, that like didn't come out right. Ooh. Oh, pumpkin bread. <laughs> what are you I don't know. <laughs> it's male. Um, I'm super excited to try this one. I like, I like pumpkin bread. I've never, I don't think I've ever had pumpkin bread. Before, it feels really dense. It does feel, it like looks dense. Like it looks like it's hard to, I'm going to try the, not the butt piece, but okay, like the next good, piece. Okay, yeah. I was like, I really don't want to try the butt piece, but at the same time, I was like, I don't want to be a little bitch about it. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, whatever's clever. All right. Ooh, not for me. Okay. Aww. It's dense. It's Ooh. very, very dense. I didn't think it was that dense when I like picked it up. Hold on. It doesn't feel that dense when you like it really doesn't. hold it. Okay. Okay, ready? So, sniff test. Okay. It smells good. Um, I think it's a pumpkin flavored sponge. Listen, as I choke, gluten free. This is great. Um, <laughs> like, it's not. I actually, I actually don't mind it. Really? Yeah, I'm actually kind of enjoying it. I mean, not like throw some butter on it. I bet you it's banging. Um. But it's dense. It right? is dense, but I actually really like it. I like this. It's like spongy, which I really do. I like actually, because um, it kind of reminds me more of a consistency of a pound cake versus sure. a bread. Um, okay. I actually really like this one. And we can make some French toast with it. This is pretty good. Come from someone that doesn't eat like a lot of, well now, since we're together. Yeah, right? we're not intentionally, I guess. Um, I like this. Okay. I like the muffins better. You think these are safe to eat? Mm. Okay, so this is the one with flaxseed. This smells really, really good. It smells so good. And the oatmeal and flaxseed didn't have any flavor. It was just standard. Do we want to mix any any flavors? Okay. You gonna work? Ooh, I can get down with this. It's not too much. It's, it's subtle. It's not too much. It's really good. Yeah. It tastes like fall. Oh my god, this is so good. It does. This is really good, you guys. I would highly recommend putting this in just the oatmeal, flaxseed. It's not super sweet at all. Um, it's subtle. It's so good. I think it's really good. I would, oh I would my eat, god! Yeah, I'm really excited. This is so good. Cause sometimes with like the maple, like when I would eat regular oatmeal, there's like the maple flavoring and stuff like that. It's just too sweet, and you could just tell you're. It's like yeah. Just sugar. It, like, this yeah. is really really good. I'm honestly like. I'm in. I'm, I'm in. 100% down yep. with this. So good. Okay. What's next, babe? Man, we're killing it yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So far, so good. And we've only, we're like, yeah, we're doing great. We've only tried two. <laughs> okay, this next one I'm really excited for you to try. This is the crispy peanut butter milk chocolate peanuts. I so love what I'm these. expecting of these is like, if you ever had like Butterfingers, mm -hmm. where it's like a really flaky toffee or whatever. I mean, they look like peanuts, but they're not. Like, there's like, they're obviously a mold. You can see, whoop, whoop, whoop. you can see that there. Mm. They're so good. Hmm. Hundred percent, not what I expected. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to say anything. They are. Where's the crispy part? You can hear. You can hear crunch on them. I love this song. Woo! 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 Okay. Give a girl. Up, Next one. We are doing marshmallow light and fluffy. <laughs> what are you doing running away? Okay, come here. Come here. Come here. Okay, next one. Marsh marshmallow light and fluffy. You never bark. Why are you barking, Holmes? Okay. Feel better? Oh, so yeah, those last ones, we never finished those last ones. 
I feel that those are like, um, they're like Reese's peanut butter cups with, uh, kind of like, there's something like more milk chocolate than Reese's peanut butter has. Um, I dig them. I dig them. Yeah, I really like those ones a lot. Um, okay, so these are the marshmallow fluffy ones. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Mmm. I love marshmallow. I would totally make a s'more out of these. Yeah, a s'more? S'more. Um, super weird texture. I'm a weird guy about texture and stuff like that. And it's dark chocolate too, which surprised me because I forgot what the box said. But I like them. <laughs> <laughs> I like these ones too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where the try? So now we have the world's puffiest sour cream and onion corn puffs. There for you. You just dip your hand up in there. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Mimi. Mmm. Not bad. Ooh, I like these ones. I really didn't think I was gonna like these. I wasn't. Well, I wasn't sure. Man, those are good. Oh, big gross tired. Those are really good. Um. I like those ones. Wow. And they actually the does the flavor hit late for you too? Mm-hmm. A little. Yeah. They're really, really good. I like those ones a lot. Man, they're so soft. She said. Puffy. Puffy and soft. They're the world's yeah. puffiest. Yeah, these are really good. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got all these. That was easy. That's an easy one. I think right we there. hit like all of them are really good. Now we just have to wait for the cinnamon. Whoa. Oh, did it? Yeah, that was it. We blasted them. Yeah, we just went right through it. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I guess we'll be back. Do whatever you gotta do for the one second it takes for us to cut this to the next scene. And we're back. So I just wanted to let everybody know I usually try to eat <coughs> gluten free with Tim because it's just it's just easier to eat gluten free versus trying to like separate things. Yeah. Um, so I try to stick to gluten free as much as I can. Mm -hmm. um, but in this case, I could not pass up this look ridiculous. these cinnamon rolls. Um, so this is what it ends up looking like. It's actually try not to. Um, make it fall but it comes in like the little canister like I said and then it has like this pumpkin glaze over it so I'm super excited to try it they smelled really good when I was making them or I guess baking them so cheers hello oh my god they're really good <laughs> they're so good so it kind of reminds me of like a cinnamon roll style so tell me about the icing oh my god it's like so the icings It's like sweet pumpkin-y glaze. Okay. Um, and it's really light and fluffy. And they had like this like cinnamon sugar like butter that was rolled in the center. Oh, okay. Um, and then you just put them on the the tray. So the roll itself, you're saying, is, is light and fluffy. The yeah. It looks like it's like flaky, but not flaky. It's layered. It's like layered goodness. Yeah, it looks like a solid pastry. This is amazing, <clears throat> and I'm so sorry you can't eat gluten because this is. Awesome. Well, I'm gonna live vicariously through your chip. Smell it. I don't know, can you smell it? it smells like hot wheat. Oh my god. At least so that's good. what I'm telling oh myself. Oh my god, this is so good, you guys. Highly recommend this as well. I highly recommend her recommendations. Okay. I think that's it. Um, you wanna leave us with a joke? <laughs> like, I just put you in this spot? Well, I have one that I Go could say. It. Um. Tell me. But I've already told you this one. So two muffins are in an oven. And one muffin looks at the other muffin and says, Oh my god, it's so hot in here. It feels like we're getting baked alive. And the other muffin looks at the one muffin and says, Holy crap, you're a talking muffin. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, we love you. Uh, please consider watching our other videos. Uh, subscribe, like, like liking our videos really really helps us out with the with the algorithm so more people get to enjoy our shenanigans uh as always we love you and we will talk to you soon Bye. peace with you i did it again why what what's up with that